<clears throat> All right, so I did a judo tournament. Oh, let me make it full screen. All right, so I did my first judo tournament. I'm not really a judo player. Uh, I just started going to judo classes on like Friday nights. Um, I've been doing like submission grappling, a um, little bit of Brazilian jiu jitsu for, I mean, since I was like 19. I'm 27 now. Um, but yeah, I went to the Fayetteville, Fort Bragg, hometown heroes or whatever judo tournament. That's me with the beard. That's my coach, Ben Rothrock, right here. That's my training partner, Omari Dyson. Uh, this dude's a beast. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'd never done a judo tournament before. I just wanted to see how it was like, see how I'd stack up compared to people who actually like train judo regularly. Like it's their main thing. Did pretty well. Got a silver and a bronze. Um, this guy right here, I could not freaking beat him today. Anyway, let's just expl quickly explain the rules. Uh, judo, uh, you get a throw, uh, where your opponent lands flat on his back with force. That's called an ippon. That means full point. You win. Uh, if you get a sloppy throw, or it's not quite full point, it's called a wazari, which you get a point, which gets added to your score right here. There's a blue player, white player. I don't know what rank they are. People just wear either a white or a blue belt, just depending on what you're told for the match. Um, you can also, okay, so you can win by a choke or an armbar, but in my <laughs> division, um, which I was playing uh, people in my weight class skill levels all the way up to black and then black belt has its own division so i'll be playing white through brown which i don't even know really the progression of rank in judo um anyway so for whatever reason in my division in this tournament they only were allowing chokes no arm bars um so i'm just gonna go ahead and start it I had a pretty good turnout for this tournament the citadel was there with their team and the U.S. Navy judo team was there. This guy, I believe, is from the Citadel. Um, they had a match with the Navy team earlier in the day. I get a nice little throw there, a little trip throw. Uh, Navy won. So I'm going for the hold down here because that was a Wazari. That wasn't an Ippon. My wife's recording. People get walking in front of her. Oh, that's cool. She recorded vertically. She apologized later. She regrets it. It's no big deal. So he turns over trying to turtle up, but he exposes his neck and uh, pretty easily able to cinch that choke in, get both my hooks in, kind of slowly keep tightening it up, making him wish he wanted to die. Um, I didn't think he was going to tap. I could hear him gurgling and snoring. I thought he was going out, but eventually he does tap. Um, so I win by the rear naked choke there, which is cool. That's my first match. I was nervous. I didn't know how I was going to do. I saw these guys competing earlier. I was like, damn, they're good. I don't know if I can do anything with them, but he's able to get the choke. I don't know all the formalities and stuff. Like, I bow. he's like, no, don't bow. You haven't won yet. Now you win. Okay. Bow now. All right. Oh, and you can't turn your back to your opponent. It's considered disrespectful. So when you back off, you have to face them. I keep almost forgetting that. Hey. Hey, coach. Hey. Good job, Jeremy. That's my second match. It goes very well. Um, this guy... He just falls into right right into my favorite throw. It's called Tanya Push in Judo. But yeah, his, he landed flat on his back, so I won. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be an Ippon, but thanks, ref. Oh, uh, see? You're supposed to go right here, not right there. Oh, you bow. Like, oh, sorry. I didn't know. There we go. Shake hands. Show respect. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Let's see, match three is with Omari. Let me tell you about Omari. Loss. Okay, so um, Omari is like the strongest person on the planet. He's a fitness coach at Gold's Gym. He just kind of works out all day. Um, I train with him all the time. I feel like I have better groundwork than him. But, you know, in, in, in training, sometimes I can get a throw on him. But I just couldn't figure him out today. I could not figure him out. He's just too strong. I couldn't get inside. I couldn't work the throws I was wanting to work. He ends up getting me in a beautiful hip toss this round. Um, we have another match later, and we both went up a weight class. To fight in, this is the 80, 81 kilogram, and we go fight in the 91 kilogram, which is up uh, people like 205, 205 pounds. So they were big, but I didn't actually really have to face anybody that was that big when I played, so that was nice. Um, 
Let's see. He just got a penalty, and uh, we don't understand. Neither of us, we've never been a judo tournament. We're just like, what, what did you stop it for? I don't know. He grabbed my belt and held on for three seconds. So you know, you can only hold on for three seconds. After that, you must let go. We don't even know that. So I keep trying to get in. I try that same throw that I got on the other guy, but I just, I didn't do it right. So he just stuffs it, tries to get a hold down. But like I said, I'm pretty confident on that work with him. Um, so I was able to spin out with the turtle and get him to stand it back up. Honestly, what I really need to do is stop one of his throws and try and get a pin on him, because I know I can do that, but his throwing, you know, his takedowns are pretty good. Especially today, man. Omari sees red in a tournament. He just got penalized again for holding on to my belt. And at this point, he figured it out. Like, we didn't know what he was talking about last time. But at this point, we were like, oh, we can't do that. We talked about it later. I was like, why Why can't you hold on? I don't know. It's judo stuff. You have to. You can't hold a grip like that. There's several. See, I go for the belt, and I'm like, I don't know. Should I? No. <laughs> So here he gets this beautiful hip toss. He landed right on my chest, knocked the wind out of me. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's cool. You suck. Whatever. But um, yeah, that was a good match. Fix your gi. You gotta look good. Fix it. You can't bow. Mari wins. Boom. Don't turn your back on your opponent. All right, let's see. What's the next match? Um, okay, this is another guy from the Citadel, which is like a military college, I guess. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of like college sports, so I don't really track that. He seemed pretty good. Like he was trying these drop throws on me, but it's just I wasn't having that. I, I, I saw him earlier compete, and he was trying it, so I knew he was going to do that. But he ends up trying to throw uh, a little hastily. And I'm able to, like, a, a reap with my leg on him later. He's a nice guy. I talked to him after the match. Trying to get a good grip. Trying to get that grip I like. I'm really just trying to get in. I, I, want a, I want an underhook. But none of these guys will let me get one. So I get one there. He tries. But I still have that underhook. It's not a, a really good one. But coming for... A reap with my left leg. I'm able to get it. Ah. So that's an Ippon because he landed on his back. I had a lot of fun at this tournament. Really did. This is a good learning experience. A good adventure. Oh, don't turn your back. Don't do it. Uh, let's see. Oh, Omari again. I break my pinky toe in this match. Just a side note. It's cool. I do a little better, I think, in this match, even though he ragdolls me through the air. But this, I almost get a choke on him. Triangle choke. <clears throat> let's see here. Still, I can't. I just can't get inside on that. It is. It, it looks easier. Like it's harder than it looks. Like when, when they when somebody grabs your garment like that and you try to get in. I mean, they they just. It's hard, especially when they're strong. He just called. Called both of us for stalling. You have to always be attacking in judo, or you get penalized. If you get three penalties, you get disqualified. A lot of people get the call for stalling. It's hard if you if you get kind of in a stalemate with your grips, it can look like you're stalling, but you're really just like, damn it, I can't get what I want. He's trying for that hip throw. He really wants it. He really wants it. I'm like, no, you did that to me last time. I don't want it again. I think he does get it on me though. Mastering. See, I'm trying. I realize. Oh God. See how strong this motherfucker is. Jesus Christ. I was like, that's not an ipon. I didn't just lose. It's because I landed on my side. It wasn't on my back. I'm like, okay, that worked. I can do this. So I immediately turtle up. He tries to break my turtle, which at this point I'm just like, let us stand up. The ref, I don't think he stands us up. Yeah, he tries some weird turtle break. I'm like, okay. 
think he tried to get my back. He's got me in a hold down here. But I'm able to just kind of spin on the inside. Try to rip, take him over because I want to flip him, but his base was too good. So I just kind of shrimp out to get my arm in. I'm able to turn over. I don't know where I break my toe. I just know in this match I broke the pinky toe. So he's got one with Zariami. So I'm able to pull guard here, which is like, hello. I'm going to get a triangle choke for sure. Got this. Got him in the triangle setup. And look at this crap. The ref stands us up. It's frustrating, but it's judo. It's okay. um, so right here, I'm trying to get the angle for my triangle choke. Boom. I grab the shin right here. I'm about to... Um, Take my torso this way so I can get my shin or my, my leg across his uh, shoulder blades and cinch in that triangle choke. And after the match, I mean, we talked about it. It's like, you would have got me, dude. He knew it. We knew it. I knew it. It's okay. We got stood up. Like, ref, I wanted that choke. It's okay. It's okay. Who knows? Maybe he would have got out of it. He's strong as shit. Yeah, it's hard to break his posture down. You need to break the posture down for triangle throw. Almost got the hip throw there. Almost. His feet left the ground. God damn, he's strong. His little limb on top of him that time. Just wouldn't let him. Uh, he could have got the hip on off that. See, how he's just so strong. I mean, he just picks you up off the ground. Like, if he ever gets under your center of gravity, you're, you're going for a ride. I can't, I can't do that to people with such ease like he can. Just strength. Strength. He ends up going to the master division, which is like age 35 and up, and beating a two-stripe black belt, which is unheard of. He's a freaking white belt's first tournament. Yeah, he's he's just he's good. Not technically, he's just an athlete. I tried again. He's keen to it. Not gonna have it. And then, oh, he touched my leg. Don't do that. You can't attack the leg with your hands in judo. It's a rule. You must follow the rules. That's two penalties for him. So I realize I, I can go and I, I see his weakness. I, I'm going to try and enter for a hip throw and go for the uh, sweep. But then he's like, no, Jeremy, I'm going to do this. And gets the hip on. So another loss to Omari. It's cool. We're from the same gym, so I don't mind. I'll get him back later. Back later, Omari. Yeah, show respect. Good match. Good match. I had my moments. Most of them were flying through the air. Oh, well, this guy, he's like a jujitsu player. This, I don't know, his takedowns weren't on point. He kept, he keeps trying to do like a um, a reap with one leg and then the other leg. I just wasn't. It wasn't gonna work. Uh, I just pretty much put him flat on his back there with the same throw I got the other guy with. That's the match. It was like, what, five seconds long? So Juno matches can be very quick. Very quick. So I feel good. going to win. I'm not even tired. I had been talking to him earlier, so I made sure to shake his hand. Uh, let's see. This is another guy from the Cita Citadel Judo team. I don't know what rank they are. I really don't. I don't know what rank he is. Either wear a white belt or a blue belt in a match, but it's a good match. I tried to throw, I said no, I circled out. At this point, I feel like a pin would be the best option. I feel that center of gravity move. I go in for the trip there, I'm able to rotate over into the pin. And I feel his cardio just wasn't there. I feel him kind of give out in this hold down. I get the Kesekatami hold down, which is trying to pull his uh, elbow into me so that he can't pull it down to the mat and get out the back way. And I'm clinching my arm under his head and trying to hook it into my own knee. But, yeah, we got the hip on. So you hold some somebody down for uh, 20 seconds in judo, and you, you get the win. So that's a win for me. And that kind of solidifies me at, at, with a bronze medal. This, oh, I don't even think I mentioned. This is the um, heavier weight class. This guy, this is the 91 kilogram weight class. This guy, um, he beats me. Um, this is my last match. Uh, huh. Let's see. After this match, I talked to him. 
this guy's been training for 16 years. This dude is a brown belt, um, which is the belt before black. He's been training for 16 years. And I'm going to tell you, this guy, you can't tell because we're both wearing a gi, but he's strong. Oh, I got penalized for grabbing his leg. It was instinct. Sorry. But um, I almost got a throw there. Yeah, he, this guy's strong. I mean, like, this is a 91 kilogram division. He, this guy for sure weighs, like, two, 200 pounds. I'm, I'm sitting at 175, so I just wasn't able to do anything with him. It's a nice little throw on me. It's the Ippon. He beat Omari earlier, too. So this guy, he wins gold in our division. Because he beat Omari, and then he beat me. So I get bronze. Omari beat me, so he gets silver. Um, but yeah, man, that judo tournament was fun. Um, Omari got me twice. And that brown belt got me. Um, definitely want to do it again. Uh, thanks for watching, though.